Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will be showing you the engine bay mouldings we had fitted and how we designed a fiberglass fridge moulding using 3D design software for our Sea line SC35 project boat. When we bought the boat a number of both internal and external mouldings were missing. This included the engine bay, helm seat locker and cockpit fridge mouldings. So we decided after removing both engines we would tackle the engine bay mouldings first. We used the same specialist GRP company who had installed the correct port lights for us in a previous video. They have worked on Sea Line SC35s before and know these boats inside and out. So here is the engine bay when we bought the boat, which had been finished in a dark grey flow coat. So the first job was to sand the top layer off so that the new fiberglass would bond to the hull. Uh, next, the new mouldings were produced from detailed measurements from a factory boat and they were glassed into place. We also fitted inspection hatches and trunking as per the factory boat. Next, we needed a fridge moulding which sat beneath an optional grill barbecue fitted to the factory boat. This incorporated a Waco fridge on the left hand side and a storage shelf with battery switches and fuel shut off valves on the right hand side and that was behind a pair of teak doors. Because this was quite a complex molding, we needed to use Fusion 360 to design uh, the molding, uh, then have this manufactured by a GRP specialist. Fusion 360 can be downloaded from the Autodesk website and is available free for personal use. Richard had used Fusion 360 before for other hobby projects, so was familiar with the software and set about designing the molding based on photos and measurements taken from a production SC35. So here you can see the moulding in Fusion 360, which should be fairly faithful to the original moulding. From this design we were able to produce a detailed CAD drawing, complete with exact measurements, which we then sent over to our GRP specialist. From there they were able to produce the part using Scott Bader 337 white gel coat, which would be hopefully a perfect match for the factory coloured gel coat. So I'll show you the barbecue moulding. It's on our parts rack so this is where we keep all the parts so we've got the fuel tanks up here uh, we've got the uh, cockpit molding here and then we've got some of the moldings that we've had made here and uh, there's the two engines Volvo Penta engines covered up so this is the barbecue molding so I'll show you this quickly so this is the part that the the guys of fiberglassing guys have made for us so this is where the uh, cockpit fridge goes, uh, this is storage and this is where the battery switches and some of the fuses will be mounted just here and then these little uh, indents here are where the, the hinges go and then this has a pair of, of doors on the front and, and then I'll show you, show you all the way around and then they've added some reinforcing uh, also some ply on here so we can mount the, those battery switches and fuses. So yeah, it turned out really well from the design that Richard did on Fusion 360. So I'll show you on the boat where that's going to be fitted. So back on the boat and here we've got the hole for the barbecue moulding. So when we bought the boat this was all fibreglassed up so there was nothing, no, nothing here. So we've cut the hole in ready for the for the barbecue molding and we've test fitted that so we know that 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 fits absolutely fine uh, the foam you can see here that was just so we can keep heat inside the boat while we've been fiberglass and molding so so that will come out and then over to the helm station again this was um, just fiberglass over nothing here so on the original uh, boat there should be a, a door here um, which was made out of plastic I think so and then also when we cut this hole and um, the bottom here um, basically that drops straight through into the aft cabin um, so what we've done there is we've laid in a piece of uh, plywood uh, on top of the webbing underneath in the in the aft cabin and then that's all been fiberglassed over and then we've fiberglassed in the corners here as well um, and I you can see at the back there, so that's all been fiberglassed in. There's some pokey bits there on the back corner, so they'll need trimming off. 
So this will then get a, a coat of flow coat inside here and then that can be used as a locker and then we've actually bought, you can see this, a plastic door so that goes in there something like something like that so that's how it looked when it's finished and uh, in fact um, this door came with some locks as well so we can actually lock that which we couldn't wouldn't have been on, able to do on the original door so and also actually this has got the benefit I don't know whether you can see this but this also has a rubber seal around the outside here so this is effectively pretty pretty weather tight once that's been correctly fitted so yeah that's made uh, a half decent job of that so quite pleased with that so hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please hit the thumbs up button and please remember to subscribe and we'll be back next week with another video and also if there are any XC line guys or anybody out there that knows any more about this boat we'd love to hear from you please comment in the comment section below and we'll see you on the next one